Uh, if I have to watch these cutscenes every time I go to play as a new character, you guys have to as well. Okay, Sega. Hear me out. Guess the team got behind um who am I gonna play next? So I did Amy. So now I have to play Tails. I can change. I forgot. I can change the spin dash. Okay, so I'm gonna play the game in Tails, but I need to keep the U.S. soundtrack on for a bad future. So, yep, going another way through. But um. Sega, hear me out. Get the team you got behind the many adventures and the cutscenes for Tron Origin. Three seasons of animated classic Sonic cartoons in this style. No dialogue, just, just like how these cutscenes are. Just the characters going around doing Goofy or uh, whatever. Like, if they really wanted to, they could just re-show a lot of these cutscenes on TV. Like, just, like extend them to like cover the game, like fix animation per game. Air those on TV alongside main adventures and then maybe, I don't know, take some of the IDW one shot for the classic series, celebrating the 30th anniversaries, and then just like, you know, just put those up there. And, or just put those out there on TV and streaming and, you know, have something out there to watch because these are really nice animations and they're really nice. And I think that's kind of a no brainer of a money making strategy. Sega so is very much all about that money making. Also, one thing I kind of sort of talked about in the last video was, um, is people not really like, um, not really liking Origins because of, because of how much you can easily tell that it was meant to be bigger and better, but due to time and money they have to cut back on it. I look at it like this. What would people prefer? Origins come out to its fullest potential, and then, you know, that's the end of it. Or Frontiers come out as a unfinished, buggy mess, missing content, which then, a year later, we then get Frontiers Plus, and then, um... Fucking um, Sonic Frontiers is the one that gets a plus version, and it's just everything that was meant to be in the original game. What what would Sonic fans prefer? Frontiers to be worse, or Origins to be not to their expectations? Which being complete. Ah, damn! What the stop it? Force of habit. Anyways, my big question is, what were the fans expecting out of Sonic Origin? 
for me, I was expecting exactly what they advertised. Sonic 1, 2, 3, and CD. Any new characters, I kind of just guessed it would be... Um, I kind of just assumed that they would add in like Mighty, Ray, and Amy. More so Mighty and Ray since they have their assets on hand for Mania. And then maybe just... I honestly expected them to just reuse the Sonic, all of Sonic sprites. To put Amy into the game and maybe give her a hammer. You know, like some sort of quick little hammer ability that wouldn't be too hard to program in. Like, that's what I expected out of... That's entirely what I expected when going into Sonic Origins. And in Real Engine Plus, I had no expectations, so I just was kind of curious and hoping to see what they would do with Amy. But also, I do understand the feeling that everything that Origin Plus is, is what Origin should have been originally. But I look at Origins as more of, it was just made as a cash grab for new players coming in from the movies. That's all I look at Origins as, and I'm pretty sure that's all Sega saw Origins as. And then they quickly realized, oh, we don't really have the time, the money, or the manpower to really make this how we want to. Because, yeah, you know, we're a greedy corporation, but we don't want to be just a greedy corporation. We want to be a greedy corporation with heart. And then they quickly realized to be able to do that, they'd have to make fans double dip. Because, you know, Frontiers was more important, so... Shove Origins out the door, lacking in content, whenever we finish Frontiers, we'll throw some more manpower into plusifying it, and then call it a day. Which I am personally happy with, because either way I was going to buy Origins again, uh, because, you know, that's kind of what I've been doing with every Sonic game that came out in 2017, buying them twice, just to... Because I have all of them on a Nintendo Switch, but I'm kind of... You know, I... I mean, either way, I kind of wanted every Sonic game on PlayStation just for the sake of achievement. So... Either way, I was gonna buy every game again. And I am, um, and with Sega just re-releasing Sonic Origins Plus, I mean, you know, I was gonna buy the game anyway, so it really doesn't matter to me. It's really confusing to me why Sega felt the need to completely replace the Sonic City soundtrack and bringing it to the US. When the past themes are all the same. 
I just find that strange. And it just gives me nightmares of what the European version of the game could sound like. I mean, I highly doubt the European soundtrack would be any different. Or like a weird Frankenstein of the two. But at the same time, that'd be pretty cool. Not gonna lie. And also, that's what my Dream Sonic Studio soundtrack has always been. Just a Frankenstein of the two. Also, wow. Sonic CD. Very short game when you're just playing through. No intent for the chaos. For time stone, damn it. I'm never not going to confuse time stones, chaos, emeralds, super emeralds. Most of the time when I'm talking about the super emeralds, I say they're the hyper emeralds. Because, you know, you collect the hyper emeralds, you get hi I mean, you get the Super Emeralds, you get Hypersonic, so... But you get the Chaos Emeralds, you get Super Sonic, and I don't know, just something about Super Emeralds and a Hyper Sonic doesn't fit with me, so... Hyper Emeralds, and does that mean that the Chaos Emeralds have a Super Form? So, wait a minute. If the Master Emeralds can grant people Super Forms, oh my god. Wow, that name is literal. They are just Super Emeralds. They are actually just Chaos Emeralds in a Super Form. Wow. I never stopped to think about that. I want to see a mod for Sonic Origins, or just Sonic 3 in general, where you play the Chaos Emerald, and then you, like, I don't know, unlock the fucking... You just unlock, like, Energy Spears. In the blue, in special stages, and then you turn into a super emerald as your super form. I want to see that. Modders, get on it. What? Oh man, I was kind of hoping it would work as a drop dash. find it strange that Tails' canonical color is box brown, despite very clearly being yellow. I want- I just want to know, what is Sega smoking? Cause whatever it is, I might be interested in some of it. Looking at a yellow ass box, calling it box brown, the hell kind of logic is that? Also, the inconsistency between calling levels acts and zones in the early games is funny to me. They go from Sonic 1 with zones and acts to, um, just now everything is a zone. Zonify everything. No, I don't want to go up. That don't crush me. Why is the water level slowly lowering with me? And why is it stopped lowering all of a sudden? Bro, chill. Hmm. 
I never knew this part of the level design existed. These Sonic CD levels are very intricately made. Wait a minute, isn't this just the end of the level? Yeah, I'm at the end of the level anyway, so there's no point in being able to time travel right there. Well, I guess it is nice that there's a nice little open stretch you can time travel in, right where the generator is, to make it easier for new players. That is very nice of Sega back in the 90s. I saw a spear in a Sonic CD earlier um, as Knuckles, and wow, kind of tempest is Knuckles big. Got him. That's my own speedrun tactic right there. The invincible tail Eggman bubble stiff glitch. 100% viable in competitive play. Now for the level that I almost kind of sort of hate. Don't time travel now. I forget how long ago this was, but Sega like put out um, a like survey on Twitter that you could take evaluating Sonic Team's performance as of late. And I remember oh, some of the questions were, do you trust Sega to remaster the adventure games, remaster a niche, and generations, and make Adventure 3? Back during the days of forces, I mean, I would say maybe, like a solid, maybe, no, not at all. But nowadays, I mean, yeah, I think it's trustworthy enough, Sonic Team as well. I mean, they've truly demonstrated that, yeah, they're more worried about improving the future as opposed to just rehashing the same ideas and going nowhere with the franchise. I feel like they've shown that off pretty well with Frontiers that they aren't as capable of making amazing games that can blow us away. So yeah, I'm a hundred percent confident in saying I trust Sega to not only make Adventure 3 but completely remake from the ground up the first two adventure games while also remastering and porting over Generations and Unleashed. 100% trust them on that. I mean, even then, it would just make sense that they could... Um, that they could competently port over the game, because... You know, it is Sega, it was their games originally. It may not be the same team, but, you know, surely at least some people stuck around after the Adventure Days and Unleashed and Generations. You know, I trust at least some of them would be able to do it. And 
and like one or two of the original team members are still hanging around. I wonder how many level designers Frontier's had. Because I remember seeing something where from Unleashed onward, the amount of level designers got smaller and smaller with each new game. It's a strange because for a while there up until Front Forces, the level design seemed to be, seemed to be getting better and better. Supposedly, Tugashi. How do you pronounce his name? Tugashi Izuka. Apparently, um, while developing heroes, like halfway through the game's development, he became the sole level designer for half the damn game. Which is honestly really cool. I mean, wow. Imagine having the dedication to develop damn near an entire game by yourself. In the span of just like, what, well, six months I want to say he had to finish the game's lower design? For the most part, that's ignoring the other major aspects of level design. Such as the fact that, um... That when creating a game, you also have to do marketing and music and... No, I'm pretty sure... Was he the not the director of that game? No, he left in 2006. Halfway through the... yeah. Azuki didn't take over as lead level designer till Yeah, until Sonic 06. Just, that was just as game director in general. Wait, was it director or was it head of Sonic? I don't know, man. I personally don't care enough about Japanese business practices to remember everything that every one man who worked on Sonic with a funny sounding name. Did for the his career. There's just too many of them. But you know, I hope is Sonic City has some like added in areas to take use of tails and not the abilities. bad mechs I've never seen before. They look weird. I don't like them. Go ahead and beat all of Sonic CD's tails in one video. I don't know. We'll see. out what that uh achievement about um uh hitting Eggman statue and wacky weapon for apparently it's not a it's not an achievement but it to finish off that surprise artwork I wanna say it is So 
like a little... They gave objectives that they want you to complete. Which is also whenever I play Sonic 2, I'm gonna do it with Amy and Tails, because that is another one of those that wants me to do. Um, there's also, um, there's a bunch for Knuckles in Sonic 2. It's mostly just all of, it's mostly just do all the new content. And you like, I don't know if it's just a piece of artwork or if you unlock something in the game or not, but I don't know, it could be cool. If it's something cool, I'll make sure to show it off on camera. I need to start working on getting the uh, I need to start working on getting those missions done. I haven't done a single one of those yet. Are you gonna go? Okay. Shit. I thought I could maybe get two shots out on him. Not even 30 minutes. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off the Tails run of Sonic CD because there's no point in forcing it out to be two parts of. I mean, that's honestly really good because that means I'm not gonna spend 40 fucking videos. I probably still am because I thought I was gonna do all the missions, which ugh. Game, chill, game, fucking cool your socks off. I love you start a speed with, but your level design is just weird. It's a bit too messy. It's... I'm sorry? Your lover's like genuinely feel like so we just need to call it a day. There's so many little areas that you just fall down. I mean, you can very clearly tell that there's lots of low. That's the word I want to use, but there's also I don't know, too much of the level design just feels like it forces you to go 